Sunday, November 16th, 2014. Revealing the censor. Anarchy in a community means that censorship is not an acceptable practice. Censorship is the suppression of expression using force. Usually the censor is unidentified and not answerable to those being censored. This is dissimilar to the moderating of an activity. The role of a moderator is to limit the conversation visibly according to the rules agreed on by the participants, and every action of the moderator is answerable to them. The censor is, in principle, an authoritarian ruler, judge and executioner, invulnerable to feedback. Anarchy in the context of community can present itself in any number of possible social structures, but all of which will follow the same rule. All interactions are free, not only voluntary and definitely not coerced, but free. Free as in any person can, at any time, do what they wish, as long as they cause no physical harm or threat to another. No force can be inflicted on them. Even if agreement was previously made, such as a written contract, further disagreement or nulling of contract does not justify the use of force against them. Those who betray trust will simply not be trusted again until forgiven, and that is the only moral strategy in a free society. Even within private property such as a house, where the owner can, if necessary, use force to remove people, those people are still free and cannot be coerced or threatened just for voluntarily entering the private property of another. It is immoral to abuse a guest. To conclude, there is no place for censorship within any group, community, or organization. In order to moderate activities, methods of refereeing must be applied, while those who moderate are explicitly not above the same community standards. It is only in this way that all community members are properly represented.